Wow. Can you believe that? How cool is that? We got to stay and watch the sunrise over DCA. That was wild yesterday. Club 33, crazy sweet to run around in. Watching the sunrise come up over Grizzly Peak. Took a little nap here just to say I slept here and I don't know if you can hear, but I'm waking up feeling really sick. My neck and back are killing me at the same time that I apparently have come down with a cold. So as cool as it was to cat nap up here in the Grand Californian Hotel, it's time for me to go home and sleep well. I just wanted you guys to see this view as I took in my last look. Wow. You feel like a sultan up here, you know? What a princely view. That is awesome. Uh, I don't want to leave. Don't you wish we could live in here? Mm -hmm. It's so nice. Oh well. Goodbye, sweet. Now we grab our stuff, very handsome looking pile of stuff, and go home or sleep well. Goodbye, El Capitan. John Connor? Yeah, I know I'm sick, I'm getting delirious. Thus endeth our five hour stay at this wonderful hotel. You look sleepy too. <coughs> I'm just dying, I'm dying now. <laughs> just one last question before I leave. See right by the front door, see this mural of two bears playing and dancing? Just look a little closer. Are these two bears teasing a Sasquatch? Could this be evidence? Of Bigfoot. What are they trying to cover up here? <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Joke's over. Time to go. Bill, it's good to see your face. Ugh. Headache, body cramps, stuffy nose, sore throat. This is the price I pay for the fun of yesterday. You know, I bought this guy here, intending to put him outside, but I just like the way he looks so much, he's just inside. Especially because lately I've been reading a lot of books about Oceania. A lot of books about the Discovery of Polynesia and the Pacific Islanders. This book here is one of my favorites right here. Check this out. Blue Latitudes. This author, Tony Horwitz, is like really good. All of his books are pretty dang good. This particular book, he goes and follows the course of Captain Cook. Both giving you a history of the European discovery of Polynesia, but also visiting the modern day places where Captain Cook visited, you know. Got a lot of books in here. The Island Civilizations of Polynesia, Explorations of Captain James Cook in the Pacific. Let's see over here. This one's pretty good. The Forgotten People of the Pacific. This one's more about New Guinea. Then there's some classics. Nomads of the Wind, How to Read Oceanic Art. This is a great book right here. It taught me to look at all this artwork completely differently. We have a tendency to look at other societies as primitive which is just not right many of these cultures are so fascinating and complex just because they're different from ours doesn't necessarily make them simpler i just find the age of exploration so fascinating especially when i get sick when i get sick all i want to do is read about far away places and things that i'll probably never see but especially things in the past. Look at this, this is all artwork. And information about William Hodges, who went with Captain Cook, I believe. And painted these faraway places, and drew them. And sketched and painted these faraway places for European audiences, sometimes for the first time. What's interesting is sometimes the original sketches of the explorers would be pretty accurate, the landscape and the people and stuff. Then they would go back and do these paintings that would be exhibited to a bigger audience. And change them and make them look much more romantic, like you have an almost Greek lady here. Like add in the fashions and the styles of like classical paintings, it's kind of weird. Their idea of uh, quote unquote documenting history is very different from ours. See in school they kind of teach you that the British were sailing around and discovered all these places and just sort of made it work. And they never taught us about the different Tahitians and other Pacific Islanders that went with the Europeans. And not only helped them navigate because they seemed to know a heck of a lot about you know, oceanic navigation. But also acted as interpreters and basically made the mission possible. It's always been interesting to me that the things that you learn in school can be really, really oversimplified. Anyways, I'm now doing a little 
reading on the history of Australia before Botany Bay. And I think that uh, Bill and I here are going to do a little resting. <sighs> My back's still killing me anyway, so it's probably for the best. I'm just gonna lay here on this flat, flat floor, which is so cold against my hot body. And I don't mean that in like a hey hot, I mean like I'm hot. Dude, someday I would really like to go to Rapa Nui or as most people know it, Easter Island. It's so freaking fascinating. Until that day comes, we'll have more adventures here in the United States. I'm already formulating some rudimentary February travel plans. Ooh, so some stuff is in the works. Hopefully I can shake off this cold first. So until tomorrow, ladies and germs, go home and sleep well. What a fun one.